Hey, what's up, guys? Testing this with a, uh, a fan on in the background. You hear that fan? It's on high right now. You hear that at all? No, you don't? How crazy is this new NVIDIA RTX voice setup? Using your NVIDIA card, the technology in that card, canceling out that background noise with a fan that's on high right now. It's pretty cool. Let's dive into it quick. All right, guys, so I don't normally do this. This is a little different than my uh, Fortnite or Call of Duty or Valorant gameplay that I do, but I saw this on a tweet yesterday that NVIDIA came out with a RTX voice setup, uh, specifically a website that walked you through this new software that they have, the uh, app, uh, applications that are, are able to use this software, exactly how to set it up, a walkthrough step-by-step -step on turning it on in certain applications like Discord, like OBS Studio, like XSplit. A uh, very simple, easy guide to do this. And I have to say, for one, I'm so excited because for me as a uh, content creator or going live every once in a while now, my mechanical keyboard that I have, I have a, a Ducky one to Mecca and that thing no matter what I did in OBS, you could always hear it in the background. It's the clicking. I love the keyboard, mechanical keyboard, but that clicking noise is always in the background. The moment I saw this, I thought, hey, that's gonna be out of my videos. I'm not gonna have that sound in there anymore. And sure enough, it's gone. It's completely gone. I just had a fan on high that you can't even hear in the background. So one thing I'm gonna do quick, I'm gonna show you the website. Uh, actually, I'll leave the, the website link down in the description below. Uh, that website, it will show you, again, all the common applications that it works with, the download, uh, the requirements about RTX Voice, and then how to set it up in those applications. So for me, Discord is one that I use, very easy to, to set up, it'll walk you through it. And then also OBS Studio. So I use OBS Studio and uh, Streamlabs OBS. It was very simple. Um, the one thing I'll point out quick as long as we're here. When they're talking about setting it up initially, it will download an application that looks like this, this NVIDIA RTX voice. Your input device is your microphone. So for example, my microphone, this Blue Yeti, is gonna be right there. And then you wanna check the box, remove background noise from your microphone, and then set it, the noise suppression, uh, accordingly. Right now, for me, I have it set right in the middle. And that blocked out the fan. It blocks out my mechanical keyboard. Uh, the output device, that can also remove if you're in Discord or in game chat, it can mute somebody's background noise. How crazy is that? So if your your friend had a fan running in the room, which is kind of common, that would remove their sound potentially on their end so you're not hearing it. Now, they do come with a caution on that one when you're setting this up. They say, we recommend turning on your RTX voice for your microphone and turn it on for your speakers only if needed. Long story short, just try it with your microphone first and uh, and see how that goes. If you really want to go out there and try it with the output device, feel free to do that by checking that box. But one thing I wanted to test here and show you guys. So let me go into the actual application here, which again is this NVIDIA RTX voice. I have it set for my microphone, like I just said. Check the box right in the middle. Let's see what it sounds like when I have that unchecked. Here we go. All right, let's go back to turning our fan on. How does that sound? Probably pretty bad, I'm guessing. <laughs> How about my mechanical keyboard while we toss that in there? So the fan is on, I'm gonna turn that off. Now it's time for my mouse clicking and my mechanical keyboard. You can probably hear that. Now I'm gonna turn it back on. Wait for a second while it turns on. Now, how about my mechanical keyboard? I'm hitting it, nothing. Maybe you can hear the mechanical keyboard when I'm talking. Uh, when it picks up my voice, you might be able to hear a little bit of clicking. That comes down to the noise suppression, which I haven't quite tinkered around with enough to realize for me what's the best. The more you crank this up, the more it'll take out that background noise, but also the quieter you talk, the more that you whisper, the more that you whisper, it might not pick that up. So uh, I want to share this because this is awesome software that I think a lot of us have been looking for to take out that background noise. The only thing that I saw that people were tweeting about that, you know, you might think, well, what could be the downside of this? If we're in performance, you can see everything I have running right now, CPU, memory, all that stuff. So my memory, you can see how much memory this NVIDIA RTX voice takes up. So it's taken up one and a half percent of my CPU. It's taken up a good chunk of my memory. Now I do have 32 gigabytes of memory. I'm not too worried about it. If I'm gaming, if I'm doing all these other things, it, it's not the end of the world. Now, if you had eight gigabytes of memory or something 
smaller or less and that's bogging down your memory. Again, I'm not a, an IT guy by all means, but that's the one thing that I saw on tweets that people were complaining about was the memory usage. But what are your guys' thoughts on this? Is this something if you're recording, if you're no matter what you're doing, are you excited about it? Do you like it? Have you used it yourself? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback because I think this just came out not too long ago. Uh, yeah, April 16th is when this was posted and it is April 23rd for me. But as always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching the video, taking the time out of your day to do that. If you're you're not subscribed to the channel if you're new hit the subscribe button for me we play a lot of video games we do a lot of video game reviews we play live a lot of times now and with you guys too so keep an eye out for that but again i appreciate you and until next time we'll see you out there